this is webvideochefs.com Amani channel here I'm still enjoying the Rode NT USB mic uh, which is the mic you see here but the reason I'm doing this video right now is because I got a question from one of our community members who asked about iMovie 10.04 so I figured what I'd do is I'd open it up and take a look because I actually haven't used iMovie so uh, let's go into my applications here and we will see if we can figure it out, all right? So usually when I'm doing a video like this, I actually test out the application or the software first, so I have an idea, but hey, I wanna have some fun and see if I can figure it out on the fly. So that's what we're gonna do here. All right, so this is the welcome screen to iMovie, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue. All right, there's a new design, quick sharing, movies and trailers, some themes. Enhanced editing tools and iMovie Theater, which is a way to watch movies and trailers on all your devices with iCloud. All right, so uh, this now is the, uh, the layout, and it looks totally different. And I'm sure there's already plenty of tutorials on YouTube regarding the new iMovie. So we'll just go ahead and import media. It's got to find a, a video to import. So let's. Uh, on the desktop here. Let's import this one. This is Devin. All right. And let's see here. File. Let's see what's going on here. So we do new movie, import media, new event. All right. So This is the movie library, so I would assume this is a new movie in 2014. Let's go ahead and create a new event. Nope, so that, all right, we're gonna delete that. All right, so let's do a new movie and see what happens. New movie. All right, no theme. So we're going to do no theme and create my movie. Okay. All right. So when you create uh, the new movie, it's going to give you a storyline down here. This is going to be your uh, video that's in the media library. So this is just one clip. And I'm noticing I'm not hearing the audio right now. So I got to figure out how to turn that on. But it's all good, all right? So uh, let's see here. We're just gonna highlight that like usual. That's the end of the video. Let's bring it down here. All right. Let's go to edit and see what's going on with the audio now. Can shock you if it's good to you. Yeah, so we go. Ah! Bye. All right. So we got audio now. So now we can listen to the whole thing here. Hello, my name is. Hello, my this name is. This is a little family Devin. video of uh, my wife and I, um, and Devin. A little video podcast. He did his first talking head vlog. So that's what this is. All right. So now what I want to do is we're going to bring in a. We're going to import. The Web Video Chef's intro. So that's here. And it is. There it is. All right. So 
going to drag that on to the end and drag that on the beginning right here. All right. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Last thing I'm gonna try to do is bring in a overlay lower third. So let's try to do that now. Oh, nice. All right. So cool. So uh, this is how easily you can throw together like some elements for talking head vlog. Hello, my name is Devin. I'm five and a half. Um, this is my mom. At looking at the camera right here. Um. All right, and then of course, if you wanted to create your own lower third, there should be some titles in here. Go ahead and erase this one because that really didn't say my name. Basic lower third here. Hello, my name is Devin. I'm five and a half. Um, this is my mom and dad. Once again, uh, you sweeten the audio just by clicking on these handles and bring them up or down. And that was pretty easy, all right? And <clears throat> some motion controls here. Looks like some color correction. Some additional color correction here. Yeah, very cool. Make it cooler or warmer. Contrast. Crop or Kim Burns. Audio. Reduce background noise, slow motion, uh, and this. Some audio effects. Hello, my name is Debbie. I'm five and a half. I'm looking at the camera right here. I wouldn't use these for much. All right, but that's uh, some tone controls. And one more thing we're going to look at is the transitions. I just want to see what they have. So they have this cross blur would be good. Any of these would be good. These top three I would use. Anything else? Probably not. Let's see what else they have. Maybe these wipes might be okay. These wipes might be okay. Ripple. This cross zoom would be a good one. I move this one up higher, honestly. This cross zoom would be a good one to use. Page curls, no. Eh, these, no. So these these are the ones you'd want to use. The cross dissolve, cross blur, fade to black, fade to white, and then cross zoom. These would be good transitions to use because you don't want to use too many transitions because it'll make your video cheesy. All right, so iMovie looks pretty simple to use, but there's some advanced features like you can green screen, you can do picture in picture, etc., which I haven't gotten into obviously in this video, but this is my first time looking at iMovie, so there's probably a lot more to learn about it. But hopefully this will get you started because we just did the basics. We laid a video on the timeline, we added a motion element, we added a lower third, and that's really 
an easy way to get started. Amani channel, webvideochefs.com. If this was helpful, thumbs up the video. You can always go to webvideochefs.com and check out our e-newsletter. Check out our free mobile storytelling guide. Just put your uh, email address in and you'll get that delivered right in your inbox. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Talk about green screen. And we're using iMovie here, so we have an iMovie library. We see some events. So I have my partner Amani here. He has two different uh, green screen setups. One is a home green screen, and one is a professional one we did at a studio. So